Hello, Master Hernandez here. This is for some of the students that we have, or maybe some students that you guys may have, and they just haven't learned how to tie a belt properly yet. There's several different ways to tie it. You'll see people do it different ways. YouTube has tons of different ways. But I'm mainly going to do this for our students here. One of the things I'm going to show you to do is tie your belt the old way I was taught. Number one, I'm going to take my belt and I'm going to fold it in half, completely in half. Then I'm going to take my belt and kind of make like a belt buckle here because that's the part that's going to be in the front right now. I'm going to bring it here and my right side is going to go all the way around and I'm going to catch it with my back, just like that. And then as I haven't moved my belt buckle part that I said I kind of made there, then I'm going to bring this all the way around and I'm going to put this here and then I'm going to wrap this side completely around on the top and go here. Now it's completely just like this. Now from here, this is going to go underneath both of the wrap lines. This is my staging area. Now I can adjust my bilbok, or if in Japanese, your gi, from here. I can adjust the belt. And then once I have it here, people like to pull this way. I don't like to pull my belt that way. I pull my belt this way. This is the way I was trained. Your belt, working your belt is like conditioning your hair. So you're conditioning your belt in a way. From here, I'm going to take, my left's going to go over on top. My right's going to come through. You can say like coming through the rabbit hole, however you want to say it. From here, I grab both ends and I pull. And then I have right here is my knot. And my belt is just about perfectly the same size. When I pull it straight out, it's even. And it's nicely shaped around. It's not double wrapped around. Everything is right there. And that is my belt. That is how you tie your belt. One more time. Take my belt. And I'll fold it in half. There's other ones that they like to put their belt on backwards and do that. And that's great. It, they get the same results. Fantastic. I just do this a little bit different. Once I have my belt. Like I said, I teach my kids, make a little belt buckle. That's going to be your belt buckle. It goes right here. From here, my right side goes all the way around. I can catch it with my other hand. Hold my belt buckle, as I was saying, to keep my belt line straight. It comes here. Then I take this side and it overlaps completely around to here. Again, it overlaps on the top. Now that has my two, my, both my wraps arounds are here and they become one. Now from here, this will go underneath. My right one goes underneath. This is my stage, I call it my staging area because now I can adjust again my dobak. I can adjust my belt from here. Now, my left goes over my right. My right goes through. You can say through the rabbit hole, just through the cave, however you want to say it for your kid. Pull, pull. And then, boom. And your belt is nicely tied. Thank you.